attention. This is a stroke documentary. Every year, people hear about the talk and do the walk for Alzheimer's, cancer, heart disease, and diabetes. But if you're like me, who never knew, never had a clue, let me tell you about a stroke. A stroke is no joke. Looking up, looking great is a documentary for people to see. We have to raise much dough, Ray me. For Spalding Rehab Hospital, best ever, but always getting better. Doing a stroke research initiative. So come on, you all, come on and give. Millions of dollars is Spalding's goal. Do all you can. Sell your soul. To quote Donna Summer, Spalding doctors work hard for the money. An absolute necessity to solve the brain disease's mystery and to discover how brains recover, get the best care, make people aware. Teddy Brucci recovered with Spalding care. And I had a terrible stroke three years ago, and now at 87, I recovered with Spalding Care. Three strokes. I had a stroke. I had a stroke. Had some fairly risky surgery where chance of survival was only 60%. You will never understand what people who are stroke survivors have gone through. The damage is bigger than what we see. Hi, I'm Dr. Glue Kaplan. I'm a stroke neurologist at Beth Israel Deaconess uh, Medical Center. Is that the public? Um, is much less educated about stroke than they are about other conditions. When I had my stroke, I thought that everything but a stroke, but I wasn't in no pain, I wasn't hurting, I just couldn't stand. You know, the doctors was amazed and I was amazed because it felt just like to me that if you have a computer, and you press, press the wrong button, the memory loses. If you have a stroke, or you have something happen with your brain, you're not, by definition almost, you're not thinking absolutely the same way. You may not realize it. Two, you may not be able to do anything about it. You can prevent stroke. Uh, the most important risk factor is high blood pressure. Smoking, which is a huge uh, one, actually we, we don't see women who have occlusion of their carotid artery unless they smoke. Uh, the other ones that have been more recently recognized are inactivity, uh, being very overweight. I knew that I was having a stroke because I totally lost control of my left arm, and that's it. That is the very last thing that I consciously remember. Just like I thought it only happened to old people, I'm here to tell you it's not just the old person's day. I'm 53 years old, I have kids, I still have a life, so I have to go on. It's not easy, but I have to go on. A lot of it is the individual. You know, if you if you try to do it, you can do it. There are patients every day who, despite the fact that they've had a stroke, lead a very normal uh, life. They get back to really completely normal function. What's really important is that you can do the kind of things you want to do, and you can live life the way you want to do it. Part of the recovery is that when you have a stroke, some parts of the brain that are temporarily injured, that have lack of blood flow, the blood flow recovers and the brain recovers. Uh, the way the brain um, is organized, there are many areas that subserve multiple functions. 
So functions are not all in one area. So if you lose one area, there are other areas that can regain uh, that same function so that you can get back the function despite the fact that there is a brain injury. A stroke can happen to anyone. It can happen for many reasons. Every day is a challenge for me to me, but I love the challenge. It's really important to turn it around and think about all the positives and look at yourself as a survivor and not a victim and to realize all the love and support that you have from your family, your friends, and from complete strangers. Where's the best place to have a stroke? In the doctor's office. That's where I had it. I, I, thank God I bumped into a speech pathologist right here at Spalding and he worked with me for nine months and look at my English now. And then I I was so good, I went over to the Constitution, I said, I want a, I want a job. And they gave me a job for four and a half years. I'm trying my best. I am trying my best to do all that I can, although I have the stroke. Uh, I would like other people to talk about the stroke more and how it affects the family at home. I don't even know that I could put into words how I value life now. I was always very active in my church and with my family, but I think knowing that I almost died made me appreciate the simplest little things in my life.